Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install Xbox Game Pass game from Xbox app or Microsoft Store because of this error code that is 0x8375007. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, before trying any troubleshooting steps, first of all, make sure that you are connected to the internet. Make sure the internet is working. Also, run this command. These commands are provided in video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy the first copy all these commands and one by one and you can paste it over here and then hit the enter key. Now run the second command. Now run the last command. Now once this is done, now you are connected. Now you can check. Now still not working, you can switch to different networks. So if you have any other network available, in that case you can switch to different network and then you can check. Still not working, then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run gaming services repair tool. Now for this go to Xbox app. At the top left here you can see your profile icon click on it now go to support over here you can see gaming services repair tool click on it and then click on start repairing click on yes to allow and let the process complete this process may take some time and once this is done you can close this and then you can check still not working you can go to any browser in google search type in gaming services repair tool and then go to microsoft website which says gaming services repair tool for pc Now on this website, scroll down, click on downloadable version. Scroll down, here you can see download the gaming services repair tool for PC. Click on it and then you can run this exe file. Click on yes to allow and let the process complete. This process may take some time and once this is complete, you can close this and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to log out and log in with correct account on Microsoft Store and xbox app and make sure date time time zone is correct when you can be it. now for this uh, you can go to uh, windows settings now first of all go to xbox app and microsoft store so go to microsoft store at the top right here you can see a profile icon click on it and then click on sign out and then click on sign in select the right account which has the game pass which has the game and then it will be asking for your pin or password so enter the pin or password and then you can go to xbox app now click on sign out and then again click on sign in sign in and you have to select the same account which you have selected on microsoft store so select the same account which has the game pass or which has the game and then log in and then you can check Now also make sure date, time, time zone is correct on your computer. So now for this, you can go to Windows settings, go to time and language, and then go to date and time and make sure set time zone automatically is on. So if this is off, you can turn it on. Also set time automatically, make sure that this is on. If this is off, you can turn it on. Make sure both are on and then click on sync now. Sync now is important. So click on sync now. If you receive any error in red color, just click on sync now multiple times. And once this is synced, now you can go to time and language and then go to language and region and make sure your country, the right country is selected over here. And then you can check. Next step is to try installing the game from Microsoft Store. And if you are facing the problem on store, then you can use Xbox app. So go to Microsoft Store at the bottom left over here. You can see download option. Click on download. Now, if you see the game over here in the list, I don't have the game over here, but if you see the game over here, you, you will see install option over here, or you will see the install button. So you can try to install it from here. You can even go to library. And if you see the game over here in the list, you can try to install it from here. So you might see the download option like this. If you see the game, in my case, I don't see the game, but if you see the game, you can download it from here as well. If you are facing problem on Microsoft Store, then you can use Xbox app to install and then check. 
Now the next step is to run this power cell command. This command is provided in the video description. Open this open power cell. So type in power cell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows power cell and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open Windows power cell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here and then hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color like this. Just ignore it. Let the process complete. This will take some time and once this is done you can check. Next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache. Now for this uh, you can go to this location. The location is provided in the video description. So open file explorer then go to this PC open C drive now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data folder. Now if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Now open the local folder. Now open the packages folder. So open the packages folder over here and then you have to find this folder that is Microsoft Windows Store and you will see some alphanumeric characters. So scroll down and then you can find Microsoft Store. So let me check. So over here you can see Microsoft dot Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character. You can open this folder and over here you can see local cache folder. You can make a right click and you can delete this folder and then you can check. Now still not working then run this WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset. This will this will open Microsoft Store and then you can check. If that does not work you can repair or reset Xbox app in Microsoft Store. So type in Xbox app in Windows search box make a right click on Xbox app and then click on app settings. Scroll down you will see a repair option. So click on repair and once the repair is complete now you can open Xbox app and then try to install. If that does not work you can even perform reset read this and then click on reset and once the reset is done now you can check still not working do, you can do the same thing with Microsoft Store so type in Microsoft Store in Windows search box make a right click on Microsoft Store and then again go to app settings and again do the same thing click on repair after the repair you can check if that does not work you can even perform reset so reset read this and then click on reset and once the reset is done now you can check still not working the next step is to update everything on Microsoft Store so type in open Microsoft Store on your computer and then at the bottom left over here you can see the download option go to download and then you can click on check for update and update everything from here so click on check for update and then if you see update option let everything update on Microsoft Store once everything is updated now you can check if that does not work install Xbox identity provider now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to Microsoft website on this website you will see Xbox identity provider click on download or install option over here it will prompt you to open Microsoft store so click on open Microsoft store if Xbox identity provider is not installed you will see install button here you can see install button is grayed out because in my case it is already installed. So if not installed only then you install option will be highlighted. So you can install it. In my case it is already installed. Also uninstall and reinstall gaming services. Now for this you can copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then make sure that you open this as an administrator. Click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services from the computer and once the uninstall is complete on the same window you can copy the second command and this command is also provided in the video description. You can paste the same command paste it over here hit the enter key. This will open Microsoft Store and then you will see get option or install option to install gaming services. Click on yes to allow. And once gaming services is installed over here, now you can check. 
So this may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute. And once this is installed, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to start all these services. Now for this, you can type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find IP helper in the list. Make a double click on IP helper. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click and then click on restart or start. Also find all the Xbox services. So you will see Xbox services over here. So just scroll down at the bottom here. You can see four Xbox services, not three. There are four Xbox services. So make a double click and then you can set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Again, make a double click, set it to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Again, make a double click, set it to automatic, apply and then hit start or start if it is highlighted and then click on OK. Again, make set it to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now find gaming services. So you will see gaming services. Over here, you can see gaming services. Make sure gaming services are running. If not running, you can make a right click and then uh, you can click on restart or start. If you see start, click on start. If you see restart, click on restart. So if it is already running, in that case, you can just stop it and then restart it. If it is already running, make a right click and then stop it. Again, make a right click, stop it. And then you can restart it. Make a right click and then click on start or restart so in my case it's yeah start or restart and once this is done now find windows update in the list so you will see windows update scroll down here you can see windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok with this selected make a right click then click on start or restart and then find Microsoft Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start. And then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click start or restart. And then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here then restart you can build and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet cpl.cpl and then click on inet cpl.cpl go to the advanced tab and then scroll down make sure use tls 1.1 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 make sure all four are checked over here and then hit apply make sure that you hit apply and then click on ok and then check next step is to try installing the game to c drive if you are already installing the game to C drive, then try to install the game to different drive. Now for this, you can open Windows settings and then go to system and then go to storage. And then over here, scroll down, click on advanced storage settings. And here you can see uh, where new content is saved. You can click on it. And then over here, new apps will save to. Now, if the game is installing to D drive or E drive, try select C drive and then check. If the game is already installed into C drive, in that case, you can change the drive. You can select D drive or E drive over here and then you can try to install it and then check. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall Xbox app or Mic and Microsoft Store. To uninstall Xbox app, you can just type in Xbox app in Windows search box, make a right click on Xbox app, and then click on uninstall and then click on uninstall. Once the uninstall is complete, uninstall Microsoft Store. So copy this command. This command is provided in the video description and then type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Then click on run as administrator. O always open this as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. This will uninstall Microsoft Store and then you have to reinstall Microsoft Store. So you can copy this command and then type in PowerShell and always open Windows PowerShell as an administrator, run as administrator. Click on yes to allow, paste the command over here, hit the enter key. This will install Microsoft Store. Once Store is installed, you can open Microsoft Store on your computer and then you can reinstall Xbox app. So you can type in Xbox app over here and then you can try to install Xbox app. 
install it and then you can launch it and then you can check still not working update windows to the latest version using media creation tool so if nothing is working update your windows 10 or 11 using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel